What's up? This is Ryan from Performabilt. And today we're doing a little something different because I want to talk about a problem that used to not be common, but it's becoming more common. I had a customer recently and we're just hanging out after work right now. We like to do a little something different, have a lot of fun. I have a customer send me a built unit with supposedly some pretty good stuff in it. Well, that was his exact problem and I will show you exactly why. We're going to do a little tech tip for you guys that is very uncommon knowledge. His issue in the unit, which we're now turning into a performer built without some of these good parts, was this ring. This ring was clipped, but it wasn't from the builder, it wasn't from misinstall, anything like that. The guy did his job, whoever built this, but he picked a piss poor selection of parts. This is why. This particular 4L60 input shaft takes this particular stator, even though it's more commonly known as the 70 stator. You spot the problem and why this ring blew out. This shaft is machined completely wrong, and guess where it's from? Somewhere overseas. Imagine that. Boy, they got it off by an eighth of an inch. Here, we have a GM genuine OEM shaft of the same year. Guess where that ring is? Right where it's supposed to be, below the ISS pre-machine hole. So this all could have been avoided if we stuck with our parts in the USA. American made. Now, as a special treat, we need to make sure these never see the light of day again. And I know you guys have seen this before. So, guess what we're gonna do? And keep in mind, I did this with both 69 washers and bearings to show you how accurate it really was. So we're gonna put that down. We're gonna take this giant hammer and smash the fuck out of it and beat the fuck out of it. And it's destroyed enough. Now this drum was an experimental drum that's now hitting the market that everybody should be aware of. I, uh, I just got sent this randomly and I don't like it. We tried it, couldn't even get past the assembly process because everything's cut wrong. And that never needs to see the light of day either. And it's all just with the fucking rest of them. Junk drums. If it ain't good enough, OEM stays out. It's not good enough. It's not good enough here.